So welcome to this new um, Gaia Sky tutorial. Today I'll be talking about uh, the camera and time. So only two topics that I'll be covering. So um, first we open this um, control panel with you or just clicking on the bar. And uh, what we first see here is time. So Gaia Sky uh, contains a simulation of the universe basically and you can also simulate time. So by default, uh, time is paused, but you can start it by clicking on this um, button here. Uh, it says start and pause the time, or you can also use space. So now, yeah, now I just pressed space and time is running. Um, we can also control how fast time goes. Um, so by clicking on this plus um, button, we multiply the time speed by two. Uh, by clicking on this minus button, we divide it by two. Uh, we can also use the keyboard shortcuts which are comma to um, slow down and dot to speed up so as you can see i'm using now dot uh, to speed up time and if you look at the scene you see that the earth is rotating faster and faster so um, let's just uh, bring this back and stop time with space next uh, we have here a button which uh, allows us to set the um, time that we want so here we can select the date and then uh, time of day and when we click OK this would uh, this would uh, set the time in the scene or we can also reset the time so set it to the current real time by clicking here and then OK and um, that uh, sets the time so I'll start it again um, what we can also do is reset the time using the keyboard and to do that we just press Ctrl R and as you can see the time is reset to the current time. Okay, so that covers uh, time. Uh, now let's have a look at the camera. So if we open this uh, camera pane here, uh, you can see at the top there's three buttons. Uh, these are for the um, camera recording um, subsystem. Uh, I will not cover this in this tutorial. This is uh, this will probably have its own tutorial because uh, it's quite complicated, uh, especially when we start talking about keyframes uh, and uh, different interpolation methods, etc. So um, just uh, keep in mind that uh, with these uh, buttons here, you can create camera paths or camera path files that you can later play back um okay so uh, most important thing about the camera in gas sky is that uh, there's uh, different camera modes uh, by default you start with uh, or gas sky starts uh, in focus mode this means that there's an object which is the focus uh, and the camera movement is uh, all uh, relative to this uh, focus object so um, now i'm using my uh, left uh, mouse button to uh, rotate around and as you can see I'm rotating around the earth which is currently the focus object. We can also uh, always find the focus object here as you can see uh, it says earth, uh, planet and some extra information. Uh, there's my face now over it so I'll try to move it. Uh, can I move this? Oops, I moved the wrong window. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see here, uh, uh, this is information about the current focus object, especially the top part here. Okay, let's bring me back. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, so each of these modes is um, mapped to a keyboard shortcut and the shortcuts are basically the numbers. So free is zero, focus is one, game mode is two, Gaia mode is three, etc. So we have just covered focus mode. Let's uh, have a look at free mode. So free mode is basically what you would expect it to be. Um, so basically you can move around uh, freely uh, without being locked to any object. Um, as you can see, uh, I can use my left mouse button to change the view and I use the wheel to go forward and backward. 
um, whenever we click an object, it puts us back into uh, focus mode with the object that we just clicked as our focus. So we can uh, click here the Earth, the Moon is here, so I'll click it and as you can see, now we are focused on the Moon, but we can click any other object. So for example, Betelgeuse is here, it says star, uh, etc. So um, then we have uh, this uh, camera spit limit um, drop down here. Uh, this is um, basically a maximum camera speed. Uh, it's quite straightforward. So whenever you select one of these, the camera speed will be capped to this uh, value. Then we have some, we have some uh, sliders here. So uh, the, this one uh, modifies the field of view of the camera. Then we can also modify the speed of the camera. So if I bring this back all the way as you can see now I'm using my wheel to move away and it's very very slow but if I increase this a bit now you can see the movement then we also have the rotation speed which is basically at uh, the speed at which the camera rotates around an object and the turn speed which is uh, this kind of uh, this kind of uh, movement um, something I didn't mention about focus mode, you can offset your camera uh, using the right mouse button and dragging it. So for example, now I'm uh, dragging it there. So here is my, oh, it's, I'm covering it, okay. I'll put it uh, on the other side. So now my focus object is here. And as you can see, all of the movement stays the same. So I can still rotate around it. I can... Uh, move away from it or closer to it etc and you can put it uh, wherever you want um yeah so next up uh is a cinematic camera this is basically um an extra feature which uh when you start moving and then done uh, so when you apply a movement it it will keep on this movement uh, until you click somewhere to stop it so i just mm, started rotating now and as you can see i'm not uh, touching anything but the scene is uh, still rotating this is because uh, the cinematic camera is uh, selected so when i click it stops then uh, let's remove this cinematic uh, thing then next up is this checkbox, which is lock camera to focus. Uh, what it does is uh, it um, locks the position of the camera to the position of the focus object. This means that uh, when we move, as you can see now I start at time, the earth is always centered and this is because uh, we are uh, actually moving with the object. So if I unclick this, you will see that the earth uh, goes away. Uh, you can see now the earth is moving away because we are not locked onto uh, onto it anymore so I'll just uh, lock it again and as you can see now we are moving with it again and uh, there's an extra option here which is uh, orientation lock uh, what it does is uh, the same thing with uh, as with the position but with the uh, rotation so we are rotating with the object if the object has a rotation so as you can see now i clicked it and we are rotating with the earth okay uh, i'll press space to stop time next is um these three um icons here these are special camera modes um, the first one is stereoscopic or 3d three-dimensional mode the second one is the planetarium mode and the third one is the 360 or panorama mode. Let's uh, have a look at the stereoscopic mode. Um, here we have uh, different uh, stereoscopic profiles. Uh, by default it starts with the synaglyphic profile that you would see with the uh, red and cyan glasses. Uh, we can change the profile with uh, Control shift s As you can see now, um, this is a VR headset profile. Then we have a 3D TV horizontal profile, 3D TV vertical profile. This is cross eye and this is parallel view. And to go back to normal mode, we just press Ctrl S. 
we also have uh, this planetary mode uh, which is uh, half dome um, kind of rendering uh, in a 180 degree field of view um yeah so this mode skews uh the position of the focus object so it's not at the center of the view but it's somewhere uh here below so a few degrees above the what would be the horizon uh to exit this mode we press or enter it control p and finally we have uh, the panorama mode so as you can see this is a 360 degree uh, rendering and we can use different projections so uh, we change the projection with, with uh, control shift k and this is a cylindrical projection this is a hammer projection as you can see let's maybe close this uh, let's close this also so you can see this the uh, hammer projection uh, we also have a uh, spherical projection and we exit this mode with control k um yeah i think that's uh, pretty much everything i wanted to mention in this uh, video so now wait we'll just have a look at another camera mode so for fun <laughs> Um, there's this uh, game mode, which uh, lets you control the camera with WASD, uh, like in a, an FPS game. As you can see, when we enter this mode, we get this uh, information panel uh, telling us about uh, the controls. Uh, so we can use WASD to move and uh, the mouse to look around. So uh, this is uh, quite organic actually, if you're used to playing games, uh, this uh, should come uh, naturally to you. Um, so I'll just move out a bit uh, and I'll try to go uh, probably close to Mars, which is uh, here, it's not very far from the Earth right now. So. Um, getting closer and closer to Mars and you see it has two moons um, maybe I'll go to visit Phobos which is this little moon here and I'll try to get close to Phobos to inspect it uh, in detail so as you can see we are now in Phobos we landed on Phobos actually yeah, so um, let's go back to focus mode and focus the earth. When we press home, by the way, uh, it brings us back to the original object. And finally, to end uh, the tutorial, I will just uh, show you the spacecraft mode. This mode is, uh, it puts you on, on the controls of a spacecraft, which is uh, this here, and it changes the user interface. So here we have uh, what's called a nav ball to, um, be able to orient yourself here we have a couple of sliders for the responsiveness and the drag uh, this control different aspects of the uh, of how the uh, spacecraft reacts to your controls so we can for example roll with uh, a and d we can rotate a bit with um, the keys uh, the arrows in the keyboard we can also go up and down let's see if we see the earth we should be pretty close to the earth yes so as you can see we are very close to the earth and we can start going forward a bit you can see we are already moving so uh, this mode basically puts you uh, puts you in control of this um, spacecraft and um i'll just exit this mode i'll put in free mode as you can see the spacecraft is still there so if we press f to bring up the search uh, uh, dialog and look for spacecraft so you can see we are now focused on the spacecraft and you see it's rotating because we left it uh, when it was moving and it's actually leaving the earth 
So uh, the spacecraft is actually uh, an object uh, in the scene. It's not something special that only appears when you are in spacecraft mode, but it's actually something that's always there. It's uh, very small, so it's difficult to find. But it's a, a little nice uh, Easter egg. And um, with that, I think I will conclude uh, this tutorial today. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. See ya!